Hello and good day to you. Welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in Psalm 23, a very famous psalm. A psalm where the psalmist is talking about the Lord being our shepherd, who looks after us and leads us as a shepherd leads his sheep. And it finishes, it's only a short psalm of course, it's only six verses, and it finishes with this verse. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So because of these things that the psalmist has been saying uh, about how God relates to us, how Jesus leads us as a shepherd leads his flock, because of these things, surely, he says, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Because of the way the Lord treats us and is towards us, surely goodness and love will be there in our lives all of the time. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's an interesting phrase. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If I was to ask you, where is the house of the Lord? I wonder what your answer would be. Don't send me emails or postcards. You can just ruminate on that yourself. The house of the Lord. Is it that place that we go to when we die? The place that we might call heaven. Is that the house of the Lord? Well, yeah, it is. Um, and just exactly what it looks like or where it is or how it will be and how we will be, well, that's kind of open for conjecture. We can think about it, ruminate on it, but to be honest, we don't really know. We know that it will be a place of wonder and worship and a great place to be, a place of peace and love. But just exactly what it's like, we're not meant to know, which is why we don't know. But we can look forward to what it will be like. But the house of the Lord is something else. It's not just where we are going. The house of the Lord is wherever the Lord is. Wherever the Lord is, wherever he dwells. Does he dwell in you? If he does, then you are the house of the Lord. It's quite a tall order, isn't it, being the house of the Lord? Do you keep a clean house? Do you uh, worship and obey? Do you follow? Do you love and trust and have faith in? They're all the things that we, as the house of the Lord, the place in which he dwells, they're all the things that we are supposed to be and do. The house of the Lord is wherever he is, not only in us, but we want whatever he is doing in this world. You meet someone in the shop and they tell you they're going through a very difficult time. That's the house of the Lord right there. Do you offer to pray for them? Do you offer to help them? Do you offer to listen to their troubles and woes? May you rest a hand on their shoulder and say, let me just say a prayer for you. That's the house of the Lord. That's where the Lord lives in those moments, in those interactions. Is it embarrassing to do that? Well, yeah, it can be sometimes. But you know what? The more you do it, the easier it becomes. The house of the Lord is wherever we are, and wherever we are able to carry him. And it's where we aim to be in the fullness of time. And all of that is because... The Lord is our shepherd and he leads us and guides us day by day. It's a wonderful picture, isn't it? The Lord leading us and guiding us and causing us, using us, giving us the opportunity to be his people here on earth. Have a good day. See you soon.